Hello, I'm Cheryl and welcome to my sewing room. This is the fifth video in making the beginner's quilt sampler quilt. I will take you through all steps to complete this quilt. There are 12 blocks in all. Now at the end of the video will be a playlist link that you can click on to keep current of all of the blocks that have been published. There's also a video in there that will tell you all about the supplies and how much you need to have of all of the fabrics. Okay, so let's take a look at the lightning bolt block. This is so easy. All you need to do is make four half square triangles stitch them together in this pattern. Okay, so let's go over what you need to cut out. All right, now you need to cut out two squares of fabric A that are seven and a half inches square and then a fabric C which is always the background fabric. You will need two seven and a half inch squares of that also. If you're not sure how to cut out your quilt fabric, then review the video Tips for Cutting Quilt Fabric. And I go into great detail on how to do that efficiently. And then this is your block layout. It tells you where all your colors should be when you lay it out. Okay? All right, so now take both of your background fabrics, your C fabric, and you're going to draw lines down the center of each. So line up your ruler corner to corner. And then with a pencil or fabric marker, draw a line. Then on each side of that center line, you're gonna draw two more. So place the quarter inch line on your previously drawn center line right here. Place it on there and then draw a line. Then go to the other side, place the quarter inch line on the previously drawn pencil line, place it on there, and draw a third line. So now you're gonna have three different lines, okay? Now you're going to stitch on the two outer lines. Stitch all the way across. You're doing that on both of your blocks. So before you stitch, make sure that you've got your A fabric right side together with your C fabric on both of them. Okay? Then do your stitching. Then after that, you're going to cut each block in half. So place the ruler on that center pencil line and cut your block. Do the same thing on your other one. Do both blocks just like that. Okay, now take two of your halves and have it to where the dark side is up and take your other two halves, your triangles, and have it to where the light side is up. Okay, like that. Then with your iron, press the seams nice and flat. Okay? Then open the blocks up and press on the front side making sure that the two seams over here are going towards the dark fabric, okay? And then on the two lighter side facing up, you're gonna do the same thing. Open them up and press them both on top, making sure these two seams are going towards the light fabric, okay? All right, then after you've done that, you wanna cut or excuse me, square your blocks to six and a half inches, okay? So, take your square ruler, and it's much easier to do this if you have a square ruler. Place that center line on there, right on your seam, okay? So place it on there. Now remember, your block right now is not six and a half inches. We're going to cut it to six and a half inches. So after you've laid the diagonal line down, you want to make sure that you've got a little bit of fabric hanging out on these two sides, plus where your six and a half inch line is, make sure there's a little bit of fabric hanging out on both of these. 
So after you've got everything lined up, you're going to cut two sides right now. All right, and then cut this side. All right, so now take this corner and turn it. Lay that diagonal line down there on that center line. Now place the six and a half inch lines here and here on the two previously cut sides. So they're right there on that raw edge. Then cut the last two sides. There you go. Now remember, do this on all of your blocks. Okay, so now take the two pieces that had the dark side facing up, okay, that you pressed your seams going towards the dark side, and take the two yellow ones, all right? Now, the two that were dark, you're going to place them on a diagonal line like this. Okay, then take the last two, like that, and then like that. Now, you're probably wondering, why did I do that? Because I want to make sure the seams here and here are going in the opposite direction, and they are. Okay, so you're going to put that one on top, and in this corner, Right here, you'll see that this seam on the bottom is going in the opposite direction of the one on top. So lock that in and line up your block all around. Place a pin to hold this seam in place and finish pinning across here. Then stitch one quarter inch. Then do the next two. Same thing, match up that seam in the corner. Put a pin to hold it, pin all the way across, line everything up, and stitch a quarter of an inch. Okay? All right, almost done. Now take your two rows and lay them out like this, okay? Now take your top row and turn it around, okay? and close this side and close this side. Now, press it with your iron. Then unfold them. And press again, making sure that the seams are going this way. All right? Then, turn the block. And why did I do that? Because I wanted to make sure this seam and this seam are going in opposite directions, and they are. So now, place it on top, match your seams again, and you'll see this one's going to my right and this one's going to my left. Match it up, make sure it feels flat in there. Go ahead, pin that seam, finish pinning it all the way across, and then stitch a quarter of an inch. Okay, one more step. After you stitched a quarter of an inch, press on this side, unfold the block, and press again, making sure that the seam is going away from you. And then you are done with your lightning bolt. Wasn't that easy? Okay, now let's see what the next block is going to be. It is Return of the Swallows. And all you're going to do is make eight blocks that look like this. This is the pattern. You're going to make eight of those and then stitch all the blocks together. It's not difficult at all. 
okay? Well, I hope that this was helpful to you. Make sure you click on that playlist at the end of the video so that you can see all of the blocks that have been published so far. Now, to keep informed on all of my future videos, click on one of my subscribe buttons. There's one down there in the lower right-hand corner. It says subscribe. You can click on that one at any time. Then towards the end of the video in the upper left-hand corner is a picture of me. It is also a subscribe button. So you can click on either one of those. When you do that, enter your email address. And the next time I have a new video, YouTube sends you an email with a big button in the center. You click on it and it takes you directly to my latest video. I'm Cheryl. I'm really glad you came to my sewing room. And I'll see you next time and happy sewing.